Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ty here, and today we're going to be reacting to Technoblade's Skyblock Potato War number three, the finale, and I'm super excited for this one. We've obviously already watched the first and second ones. If you haven't watched those, uh, check those out, and also make sure to um, actually watch Technoblade's original video before you watch mine, and uh, subscribe to him, subscribe to me, and uh, without further ado. Let's hop right into it. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. Ooh, Sun Tzu, let's go. <laughs> Disclaimer, the following events were done by deranged individuals with complete disregard for their own physical and mental well-being. Please do not attempt this at home. <laughs> this is Technoblade right here. <laughs> That's great. Oh no. My name is Technoblade, and I am the fastest Skyblock player alive. Pog? To the outside world, I'm an ordinary Minecraft YouTuber, but secretly, I've spent the last year fighting to maintain Dude. my spot as the number one potato farmer in Skyblock. Opposed to me is Squid Kid, the former rank number one, a man whose obsession with potatoes oh, no. is rivaled only by my own. In my last video, I talked about how the newly added rabbit pet could, at its highest level, increase the amount of potatoes oh, my yes. minions made by 30%, but mm -hmm. I knew Squid would watch my video to find out my tactics, so I left out a few of the finer details. Tales. You see, yeah, the boost from rabbit pets stuff. isn't the same as flycatchers or catalysts. You have to be there on the island ah. for the boost to take effect. Once you log off or go to somewhere else in Skyblock, that boost is gone until Yikes. you come back. But while I was experimenting with the rabbit pet, I uncovered okay. a few interesting facts about how the boost works. For instance, rabbit pets can boost other people's minions if you're visiting their islands. Yo, as a guest. Okay. But minions can only get boosted by one rabbit at a time, so you can't uh -oh. just get 20 accounts with rabbit pets for infinite potatoes. But the third thing I found was the we most We know where this is going. This is what Squid Kid didn't know. If there's multiple rabbit pets on the same island, which one boosts the minions? Mm -hmm. You'd think it'd be the strongest one, but it's not. If there's multiple rabbits, the minions will be boosted by the one belonging to whoever's uh -oh. been on the island the longest. So, hypothetically speaking, if someone went to their island with their level mm -hmm. 100 rabbit when someone was already there with a the level 1 one, they wouldn't get their rabbit's 30% boost, they'd get the level 1 0.3% boost. <laughs> Unrelated fun fact, did you know that Squid Kid's Island uh -oh. is still open to visitors? It's happening. Yeah, that's right. We're doing this again. <laughs> so I bought a new Minecraft account, Let's slapped go. a level 1 legendary rabbit pet onto it, and shipped it off to Squid Kid's AFK pool. I knew I had to wow. maintain absolute secret. I didn't even tell my goons about this because I knew once Squid got wind of this, it would be mm. trivially easy for him to prevent it. I waited until the yeah, day I released okay. the second Potato War video to start. After that video, Poggers. Chris flocked to Squid Kid's Island to see it for themselves. My alt blended right in. Every day, my <laughs> alt would sit there in Squid Kid's AFK pool to maintain <laughs> rabbit priority. In fact, it usually had the rabbit pet deactivated during the day, since you don't need to have the pet out to keep priority. And since ah, the rabbit was deactivated, okay. if Squid checked his minions during the day, he'd find nothing wrong with them. But every night around 2 a.m., Squid would leave his account AFK and go oh, to bed. Oh, no. And that's when I'd strike, overriding his rabbit Dude, pet boost. Dude, this man's just insane, bro. I, Technoblade is just insane, dude. I, I can't believe this man. He's just so good, bro. Like, who, who genuinely thinks of this stuff? Like, th this is just insane. Just for the rest of the night. And yes, I memorized Squid Sleep and Schedule to pull this off. I, I mean, at this point, <laughs> how is that even a question? Of course I did. But unfortunately, oh complications soon arose. Squid and I had both been rushing to get our rabbits to level 100. I had mm. a pretty heavy lead, and I figured it'd take Squid several more weeks to get his there. Uh, but unfortunately, an unknown third party got there first and sold his level 100 legendary rabbit bruh. directly to Squid. Of course, he didn't forget to brag wow. about his victory on stream. Oh, my, oh, my. Oh you know, no, Squid Kid. Wow. Wow. Little did he know, that while he was flexing on stream, my alt was right there on his <laughs> island, overriding his level 100 <laughs> bonus. But my problems. Bro, that's so messed up. Dude, he's just so hyped over this, and Technoblade's just taking it away from him, and he has no idea. Technoblade's like the final boss. Of like every video game where like they take away your power and stuff. 
It's literally just Technoblade. It didn't stop there. You see, Squid got an alt account to AFK with his rabbit pet on his island while he was doing other things. And since the alt account had no reason to ever leave his island, it became much harder to keep control of pet priority. Mm. And sometimes when I had priority, he'd end up kicking everyone from his island because it was too full for his alt account to join, Oof. meaning I lost priority for the rest of the day. I was going to counter this by spending $30 to buy his alt MVP++ Yo. since that rank can bypass guest in limits. But unfortunately, Genius. on March 20th, my alt was kicked and Squid's island... Uh was closed forever the jig was up but by uh -oh. that point i'd already achieved my objective the two weeks it took him to realize what was going on cost him about two million potatoes dude Bit of a tangent, but i'm pretty sure i lost a few fans over the rabbit pet because oh, everyone would no. just be hanging out they'd just be chilling on my island with their level 30 rabbits activated and i'd come see that and i, I uh -oh. don't care if it's intentional or not they're sabotaging my <laughs> potatoes so i'd kick him out of my island to get priority back and then they'd come back 10 seconds later like, Why did you kick me, Technoblade? Oh, no. I just wanted to meet my favorite YouTuber. Wow. And I'd be like, whoa, 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 relax, dude, relax. It's not a big deal. I, I have a really good reason. I, I just, I can't tell you because it's a oh, secret. And they'd no. be like, it's okay, Technoblade. I, I know the reason. It's because you hate me specifically. Oh, I'll just go leave forever now. Oh, and I'm like, wait, no, come back. No. Yikes. So Squid closed his island, which meant I couldn't sabotage him anymore. But dude. what if I told you that was also part of my master plan? You ever noticed how my island has been open to visitors during the potato mm. war? In the last video, I explained, I made an AFK machine on my island, so planted potatoes would keep growing even when I wasn't online. I was actually using an advanced okay. technique there called Lion. <laughs> 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 the AFK pool is from November. I didn't even build the manual farm until yeah. January. You might recall from the first Potato War video Big that brain. minions behave differently depending on whether there's people on the island or not. Because if no one's on the mm. island, Hypixel's not going to waste resources keeping that server online, so they're going to close the server. And then when you come back, they're going to go, oh, well, it's uh, been seven hours. It, hmm. It's going to run a calculation and give you seven hours worth of stuff. But as we've seen before, yes. that calculation isn't perfect. So I ran an experiment, and in the experiment, I found that when someone's on my island, I get 10% more potatoes. Uh -oh. And there was only uh, one thing boosting my minions by 10%. The farm crystal. The farm crystal is an external buff, so it's not included in the offline calculation. So if there's at Yo. least one person on my island and Squid's island is empty, I'd get 10% more potatoes. Pog. Now it was easy to get people to AFK on my island. What was difficult was getting people off of Squid's Island. You see, even months after the first Potato War video came out when the initial hype was starting to die down a bit, there would be mm -hmm. at least one of my own viewers AFK on Squid's Island every <laughs> night, you know. As a joke, oh, sometimes no. I would be on Squid's Island on an alt account and I'd see someone say in the chat, I'm going to go AFK to help Technoblade win the Potato War. And I'd, I'd beg oh, them. I'd be no. like, no, dude, please, please. He fixed that months ago. That doesn't <laughs> hurt him anymore. And they'd be like, I'm helping and AFK oh. all night. Squid Kid was getting boosted by my own viewers and there was nothing I could do to stop wow. them. Because what, what was I going to do? Announce that AFK and helped him? Then even more people would AFK. Yeah, I realized true. that the only way to stop this from happening would be to get Squid to that's close true, his own island to visitors without him realizing that that's what I wanted all along. Big it brain. It took four long months, but it finally happened. Let's but anyways, go. back to this tweet. So Squid says he closed his island because someone filled his potion system with rookie axes. <laughs> a common trolling <laughs> method in Skyblock is to fill people's inventories oh, with useless no. items like boats. But the rookie axe is even worse for players like Squid Kid who use the Skyblock add-ons mod, which has a feature which makes it very difficult okay. to drop tools. Okay, did, 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 did. The thing about Skyblock add-ons is, can't you just turn it off really quick and then... Just drop everything? Yeah, I, I don't know, actually. But, um, I don't know. The, the Squid Kid just got owned, bro. That's insane. Inventory. The point is to stop people from accidentally dropping weapons worth millions of gold, but it also applies to the rookie axe sold in shops for oh, 12 coins. No. So basically, someone dumping a ton of rookie axes into your hopper system is the worst thing someone can do <laughs> to you in Skyblock. Now, I've always been interested Yikes, in psychology. Dude. In fact, I almost majored in it. So after six months of stalking Squid Kid, I developed a bit of a psychological profile oh, no. of this man. I know how he talks. I know how he thinks thinks. And when I saw this tweet, I instantly knew that this man was lying. Now, don't get me wrong, I completely okay. believe that somebody dropped rookie axes into his hopper system, because it was me. But that's not the real reason he closed his <laughs> of course eyes. After all, I'd been dropping rookie axes into his hoppers for weeks, but he sent that tweet eight minutes after mm. he kicked my ult. So I get to thinking, why would Squid lie about that? And I realize Squid knows I monitor his tweets, but what he doesn't know is that that was my alt account. From his perspective, that could have been some random guy with a rabbit. And if that was the case, I'd have no idea rabbit 
rabbits could be used that way. As such, him lying oh. in that tweet could only mean one thing. He's about to sabotage me! So I held a Makes stake sense. out on my island, and guess what I found a few hours later? A brand new Skyblock account AFKN with oh, a level wow. 1 legendary rabbit. Truthfully, Get I could have stopped Squid before he even joined my island, but I wanted to catch him in the act because I'm always getting comments saying, Oh my god, Technoblade, why are you so mean to Squid? <laughs> they don't understand. This is war. There's no oh, holding no. back. I know that. And Squid knows that. The only difference is that I'm 20 steps ahead. He's playing Skyblock what while the... I'm playing Death Note. He thinks he oh, can outsmart no. me with my own Squid strategies gets... because he is yet to realize that he is but a puppet. And I, the puppeteer, dance! Potato <laughs> Boy, dance! Bruh. Oh my so anyways, gosh. I got on my secret alt account okay, and then set okay, his they, secret they, they, alt account up. Technoblade is just obliterating <laughs> Squid Kid, dude. Like, there's nothing a Squid Kid can do here. He's just getting owned. Party invitation. And then I DM'd him on Discord. Yo, dude, accept my invite. <laughs> well, this is awkward. He actually did accept my invite. We had a lovely conversation. And then I banned oh, him from no. my island. Get out of here. He tried again with another account a few days later. I don't have any proof that this account is him, but look at that username. Stinky Bozo. That's a pretty unusual mm. word. In fact, I've only heard one person say it. Bozo. Bozo. You are a bozo. bozo. Oh, my. Bozo. <laughs> All in the bozo. same day? Bozo. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. I did eventually close my island, but not before hey, I let sure me I in. lose potatoes. After that, I moved on to the next phase of my master plan if i wanted to farm more potatoes <laughs> i'd kid. have to start farming pumpkins but wait a minute technoblade that's the wrong vegetable wait Sus. what do you mean it's a fruit whatever at this <laughs> point we pretty much maxed out the output of our minions the only thing left to work on was the speed we could farm potatoes by hand the farming skill yeah, gets more okay. crops as you level up so i decided to grind it to the highest level i did the math and found that farming potatoes is so incredibly inefficient at leveling up farming that it was actually more worthwhile to build a whole pumpkin farm. Wow. I began the construction okay. of a pumpkin farm Dude, large enough clapped. that by the time I finished Poor... farming it in full, yeah, yeah, the yeah. pumpkins at the beginning would have already regrown. That's awesome, dude. And, dude, okay, what is his flight duration? He drank so much soup. He actually did. I didn't even realize that. Okay, but this is just insane. Dude, Technoblade is just insane. Like, what? Dude, I mean, I've built farms on, on Skyblock, okay? But, like, this was before the Builder's Wand and all this stuff. This is just insane, dude. Like, this probably took, like, I'm guessing like four to six hours, probably longer than that, honestly. I don't even want to tell you how long it took to build this. And so I began farming it was probably day more after than day. That, At times I'd farm for so long without break that the people watching thought I was bought and <laughs> word of my pumpkin farm and soon reached wow. Squid, who began farming pumpkins himself. But he only saw the surface level of what I was doing. Oh, you see, no. I wasn't just leveling up my farming skill. I was also leveling up multiple legendary rabbits. There's a reason I wanted oh. to stop people from AFK and on Squid's Island, even after he started AFK and himself. And it's because oh. it's almost impossible oh, I know what he's for one do, man to AFK every hour mm -hmm. of the day. Because servers restart, the game can update, your internet can go out. And if you're asleep or doing something else, you'll be missing out on those bonuses until you get back. Even the most dedicated individual might only average 20 hours of AFK coverage per day. Yeah, and those okay, four okay. hours alone without the rabbit pet and farm and crystal cost you 100,000 potatoes. What? And over time... That adds up. Yeah, to fix that, this it flaw, I got does. multiple level 100 rabbits, some leveled myself, and others purchased for tens of millions of coins, and then distributed them to goons in diverse time oh, zones. Let's I go. sent my island That's so only brand. guild members could visit and had my head goon code a Discord <laughs> bot that Look automatically pinged them within five seconds distance. of the That's rabbit awesome. account leaving my island, at which point one of them could log into the island themselves and boost my minions until wow. I got back. After a few That's weeks, awesome. we both reached farm in level 50. On May 4th, there was a pet update which added, among other things, the elephant pet, which had its highest level could increase crop yield by 25 percent ah. ordinarily a buff to manual farming would be bad for me since it allows squid to catch up that much more quickly yeah, yeah, yeah. but i had a plan the reason farming potatoes by hand is so inefficient is because when you break potatoes they don't grow back so two-thirds mm. of the time you spend on farming is spent replanting the potatoes yeah, okay. you just harvested squid kid and his viewers spent many hours trying to find a workaround to this even building an elaborate redstone machine Yo. in an attempt to somewhat automate replanting but in the end they failed to find a <laughs> yeah, better method and continue Continued farming normally. I should be able to plant five at the same time. Why is it so Dang. slow? It takes forever. <laughs> what if I told you? That's funny. I found a way. You see, no back in January, I had an idea. What if I had the minions plant for me? At the time, this wasn't practical okay. for two reasons. One, I didn't have enough farming bonuses for it to be worth sacrificing the minions' normal output. But this mm. was solved when I got farming level 50. Secondly, okay. potato minions were simply too slow. 
but since then they've buffed flycatchers, added the rabbit pet, and added foul flesh, a new fuel source which buffs Yo. minion speed by 90%. Even then, the potato minions weren't quite fast enough to keep up. But I thought to myself, if they're only going to be planting, they don't need to waste an upgrade slot on a ah. super detector. So I spent another 250 million coins oh to get God. 48 total fly Dude. Squid and I both started farming that potatoes, but his method could get at most 200,000 potatoes per hour. Whereas only? my method with double fly catchers, even after subtracting the amount the minions would have made themselves could get 410,000 potatoes what? per hour. For the next three weeks, Squid farmed hours that is every insane. day, but I was farming at the same time. What are the odds he's farming right now? Five minutes, I bet Techno's doing the same thing that says 130% chance <laughs> to do it. Uh, you're probably wrong. In this wow. time, I expanded my lead it's by another true. 5 million potatoes, but at this point, Squid and I had been farming potatoes for almost a year, and we were still farming hours every day oh with my. no end in sight. Neither of us wanted this to continue, so mm. we came to an agreement. Whoever got to 5 500 million potatoes first would win the potato war. Uh -oh. Hypixel even pitched in saying he'd give a surprise to the winner. Let's now I was on. only at 300 million potatoes at this point, but I figured I had this in the bag. I mean, I'd been tracking Squid's potato count. I accounted for his AFK mm -hmm. coverage by having the Discord bot track his alt accounts Bro, logins, and I knew how much he was farming by hand because I was monitoring his farming experience. With a 45 million uh -oh. potato lead and a farming method twice as fast as his own, what could possibly go wrong? June uh -oh. 6th, things go very <laughs> uh -oh. wrong. It was just a small update with a few quality of life changes. You know, like an enchantment which replants crops after yep. you farm them. Yep, and an that's item a thing. which automatically compacts items in your inventory so you don't have to spend time on that. <laughs> you know, two minor changes which just so happened to buff Squid's farming method from 200,000 potatoes to 1.2 million. <sighs> And my farming method becomes worthless. Oh, Suddenly, my 45 no. million potato lead goes from insurmountable to, yeah, Squid can farm that in a couple days. Squid oh, starts putting no. in crazy hours. If I do 12 hours a day, can he keep up? Absolutely not. Wow. People say tech up play never dies, but I'm putting him in the grave. Uh -oh. Meanwhile, I'm sitting uh -oh. here in shambles. I was out here with my lab coat on, doing the science, coming up with new never before seen potato farming techniques and this man just goes admins please replanting is too hard and they buff his farming method six oh, fold no. was that it eight months of plotting and scheming no. just to fail in the final no, stretch bro. no i couldn't accept that i was yeah, going to win this go. war whatever the cost i immediately Yo. drank three months of mystical what mushroom the? soup and got to work expanded my old potato farm a project let's go take 25 hours over the next couple days i knew i was playing the game as intended when i realized that the only reason i ever put on one of the strongest armor sets in the game was oh, to use its three no. percent speed bonus to optimize kill and dirt <laughs> for the next two weeks i did nothing except eat that sleep horrible, dude, and farm potatoes there were only three interruptions each of which cost me millions of potatoes the first was a dentist appointment, and the oh second my. was when I had to play in Minecraft Championships. What do I message him? Was it worth your time losing MCC? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Squid Game. It took me two hours to lose MCC, but it'll cost you nine months to lose potatoes. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that is a roast right there. Hey, relax. Relax. Hello? Besides that, there was only one other time. I had to go to the store the other day. I had to interrupt my potato farming because my dad was like, hey, can you go to the store and pick up my medicine? And I was Oh my gosh, bruh. That's... <laughs> Bro, you had to go get medicine, dude. Just like, can I really tell him that I'm not getting his medicine because I need to farm potatoes? No. No, that is, that is bald, bro. That is bald. It was also farming several hours a day, and he had even oh found a way to maximize his AFK coverage. He started sleeping with his headphones on, what? and his goons wake him up via Discord call whenever what his all left his island. As someone with a Discord bot tracking his online activity, I can tell you right now that that man is telling the truth. He was what? waking up multiple times per night. I don't know why he didn't That's just use insane, backups dude. like me. He actually revealed to me later on that one of my original goons betrayed me and gave Yo, them one of our internal really? documents. Toss and the list of backup pet users is literally right there at the top of the first page i have no idea how he missed it but anyway squid logged off an hour and a half ago he should be entering rem sleep just about oh, now it would no. be a real shame if someone woke him i didn't actually wake him up because i That's... wasn't sure if intentional sleep deprivation was legally considered torture or not so i decided to shelve that strategy oh, for the time being and after sacrificing two weeks of my life i finally reached 500 million <gasps> potatoes let's go we win these Technoblade, squid let's go. was shocked Let's go, I dude. I know he's not. Dude, Technoblade never loses, dude. not possible. No.
It's not, this can't be real. Squid had been certain that he wow. was right on my tail. I don't know how far behind I am. Yeah, you're... Than 30 million. No. And yet when I won the war, I had a lead of over 88 million <laughs> potatoes. How did I do it? It's just as that Sun Tzu says, all war is deception. You see, I knew Let's after the go. second potato war video that things were going to get more difficult from here on out. Because at this point, Squid had a full organization mm. backing him. He had goons, True, yeah. a cabal of billionaires funded oh his every gosh. move, hundreds of stream viewers making constant suggestions on how to farm potatoes mm. more quickly and reported yeah, yeah. on my every move. So in that video, I prepared my final trick. I hid my true potato count. The number shown in my video wasn't oh. edited, but it didn't include the millions of potatoes left uncollected oh. in my minions. I also say that my minions now produce 1.58 million potatoes, but they're actually producing 1.75 million because the rabbit pet doesn't actually boost your minions by 30%. It boosts them by 43%. Wait, Why? I don't know. It's probably bugged. And Squid <laughs> couldn't realize the real number when he got a level 100 rabbit of his own because he was being sabotaged. Let's but the biggest go, reason dude. my lead expanded by that much was because over those two weeks, while Squid averaged eight hours of farming per day, I averaged 11. I oh my gosh. Farming. The admins were legit saying that Techno is just like so focused. It baffled them. Dude. How, like, just insane he was. He had no breaks. I swear to God, this... Technoblade dude is uh, focused on another Let's level. Let's go, Towards bro. The very end, Squid it's Techno, one of dude. Let's write a program to chart how much I was farming by track and how much experience my oh. elephant pet had. Oh, that's but actually by smart. then, it was too late. Once I won the war, there was nothing left to do except celebrate my victory with grace and humility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> He's doing a little emote on me. Oh, oh my. my. Not like this. Come on. Was, wow. Was this necessary? Watch me dance, Squid Kid. You lose. You lose the war. <laughs> After the war, the admins Dude, added a temporary NPC to the Skyblock Hub, the Potato King. It gave out a new Yo. talisman, which boosted potato minions by 5%, a basket for the top 1,000 potato farmers, Let's and the potato crown, engraved upon it the words, all men can see the tactics whereby Dude. I conquered, but what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. Sun Tzu, Dude, okay, wait. War. That can you imagine how much he could sell that for? Dude, that would that would sell for billions. Like it probably would sell for billions of coins. Honestly, that that is probably the most valuable item on like all of Skyblock. For real, like that is insane. NPC is gone now. I took too long to edit this video. I gained a lot <laughs> from the Potato War. Patience, discipline, carpal tunnel. I guess <laughs> my main regret is that I bribed Squid's Discord admin to give my alt permission to see into his secret text channels, and then he never used them all year. Wow. With the war over, Squid took down his potato Toxic, minions, dude. and my fields have gone unfarmed. While we were enemies, I still mm. respect Squid Kid. I understand now that it is only with a worthy rival that one can reach their fullest potential. While he may true. have lost the war, he's gone from 70 subscribers to having tens of thousands of fans, so it can't be said that he's lost completely. For my part, I realize now that rank number one isn't an achievement. It's a prison, which forces you to dedicate your life to defending a temporary title. But now, oh, wow. with the war finally over, I'm free. Dude. Wow, what a video, dude. I that that is just awesome, bro. Technoblade. Dude, Technoblade's awesome. Man. Let's go, bro. Wow. Um if you guys actually made it this far in this video, uh comment orange today, okay? We've done like banana cookie, we're going orange today. All right, comment orange if you made it. Uh, through the entire video and um as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one peace out